today, I'm gonna run some errands. One thing in specific, honestly. Woo! One thing in specific. Um, that's the whole. That's the whole discussion of starting on a uh, starting on a 600. Because I know some people just don't want to. They don't want to wait. Basically, they don't want to have to buy a bike, ride it for a few months, and then sell it, and then buy another one. Which I sort of get, and I can't really say much because. I started on a 600, so we're just going to kind of talk about it. That's all. I just got street clothes on, so I'm not doing anything crazy. I just wanted to take back roads instead of riding next to all the cars. Um, but yeah, so... I get this question a lot, along with like, you know, best starter bike, and I, I covered the starter bike thing, but for the ones that don't want to listen to the best starter bike, this is for you. <laughs> um, it's gonna probably be a short video because like, honestly, this is not like, there's not a lot, like, a lot to cover on a topic like this. It's just kinda, first of all, I think it's dumb. Like, just to, get that out of the way I think it's dumb unless there's a there's a few there's a few small things that I would say is like okay you're uh you're like good to start on a 600 and then still then it's like ah it's still a lot I don't know they, they're, they're still so fast so that's my only issue is like I don't know it's just like a lot people are gonna do it regardless of what I say which is why I would rather like give my input on like I don't know how to be safe if you're gonna do it you know stuff like that but I mean people people's egos will always get the best of them no matter what a lot of people drop their first bike unless you've like been on bikes before if that makes sense so like is it raining Excuse A lot of people drop their first bike they get it's not like I don't know it's not a big deal like a lot of people drop them on like slow turns and shit just because it's uh it's like it's a learning curve you gotta understand like the the weight of the bike how it moves how it feels how to like counterbalance it and all that stuff so like birds Yeah, so a lot of people drop their first bike and that's why I really recommend getting like a starter bike Because you don't want to drop this, you know, like this is pretty You don't want to drop this. You spent a lot of money on this Why would you want to drop it? You know, that's my main issue with it is like dude. Oh Can I jump this? <laughs> that was scary um, But yeah, you don't want to drop your you don't want to drop your nice 600 that, that's that'd make me cry um so yeah just like being able to like understand the mechanics of the bike and stuff like that first is a big deal You want the look, you want the top end, you want to go fast. I get it. I want to go fast. I'm about to. This is also probably why you shouldn't get an R6 as your first bike. Ready? Watch. Like leader bikes obviously but like come on <laughs> like come on it's pretty fast <laughs> but yeah so like <laughs> that, that's like all speeds you know so not being able to control the bike under all speeds like yeah, I don't know I just always thought like 
Okay, so basically, you're gonna be like, oh, you're you're a hypocrite though, because you started on the 600. Yes. <laughs> but but I have been on motorcycles my whole life. I've rode dirt bikes since I was five. So I've always understood the clutch. I've understood everything about the bike. Obviously it's different, don't get me wrong, a sport bike and a, and a dirt bike are very different. Completely different bikes. But it's just the idea of all of it. Like I understand, is that loose? It's still bolted through. I, I understand like, I understand it, you know? So for me to like get on this, it was a lot easier. Oh, what up, what up? Um, for me to like, get on this, it was a lot easier than like someone that's never been on a dirt bike, you know? Like someone that has no bike experience. And I've understood, like I've rode 450s, I've rode 250s. I understand speed, kind of. Obviously not the speed I just went because I'm on a dirt bike, you know, you don't really go those speeds. But yeah, so like, you know, I, I don't know, man. Uh, but like even as me starting on a 600 I had a few times when like it was very scary where like I could have wrecked you know and that's not what we want we want we want to be safe on our first bike you know it's your first bike you don't want to be in those situations where you're like holy fuck, I'm about to crash you know and most of the time not all the time not all the time but most of the time speed causes those issues so Yeah, so most of the time speed causes those issues, so like, if you can avoid it, avoid it, if that makes sense, you know, like, granted, this is sick, this is sick, I don't know, I get off topic all the time because I got the, the worst ADD in the world, I'm just like bing, 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 but at the end of the day, like, you're gonna do what you want, so if you have experience on a on a dirt bike like at least something dude like it's just there, this is just a lot of power granted there's a b mode on this it's not <laughs> it's not like it makes the bike slow by any means but the throttle response and stuff like that is a lot less from what i've noticed I, and there's another mode on this it's like a std <laughs> is it called std one second how do we oh it's right here there's B mode, and instantly, like, I can feel the throttle response just minimal. Like, here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, like, an example. I don't know if I'll be able to show, like, a real example, but... That's, like, kind of on it, and, like, the bike doesn't really want to wake up. So maybe if you're, like, new and, like, whiskey throttling is, is something you're scared of, B mode kind of, like... I mean, it wakes up, but it takes a minute. And then here's STD. Yeah, it is STD mode. <laughs> definitely a lot easier to like throttle response is definitely a lot more there um let's go this way but a mode is like your your race car mode i guess that's how that's what i always call it. that's what i called it when i showed blake because he was riding in b mode for a while but a is like like that bitch want to go <laughs> she want to go doggy so i mean there is modes to help out newer riders I guess or people that are a little less comfortable with like the bike which is good it is good and a lot of people are like but the R6 has the, the lowest uh, the lowest torque the lowest bottom end you're right you're you're completely right it has the lowest bottom end but it's not it's that's not what it's about it's more about um, I don't know if that cops can pull me over but it's more about like the top end it's the fact that you have the, it's the fact that you have the top end, you know? So like, <clears throat> on a 400, you don't have that. It's not there. So you don't, you can't touch it. You can't get to it, you know? But if you're on this and you're like, oh my God, it's a straightaway. Fuck it. <laughs> and you're just like, you, <laughs> you know, like, then you have it, it's there. And that's, that's part of the danger. But yeah, in my eyes, like the main issue is the fact that you can go that fast. I do agree, this does not have like... Like it takes a while to get up there, honestly. It's not a lot of like 
you know you don't just click you don't just pull it and you're gone you got to be up in the rpms you got to let her wake up so i mean it can be done i've done it i started on a cbr it has more torque than this i've done it um but if i could go back i would probably not do it i would probably go with like a ninja 400 or something just because uh, it's a safer route man and at the end of the day you want to be able to enjoy the ride multiple times you don't want to you don't want to just like off yourself if that makes sense so the best way to avoid that is to be on a machine that doesn't let you be capable of going those insane speeds but man it's fun and it sounds good i mean listen to her you know like Sounds good. And it's fun to go fast, man. Don't get me wrong. I love to go fast. I've actually gotten a lot better with like kind of just enjoying the ride, enjoying my experience on the bike. Because you know, I, I got a lot to live for, man. I got a family that loves me. I got like people that love me. And I got you guys who I want to entertain, but at the same time be safe. So it's a it's a tough one. I'm just here to have a fun time, and enjoy my bike. Don't get me wrong, I still do a lot of dumb shit. I'll never say I don't do dumb shit. But, uh, I don't ride like a maniac 24-7, ever. Because I got, got more to live for than that. I get it, I get it, y'all want an R6, I get it. But if you're gonna do it, all I'm saying is just be safe, man. Like, just in, like, learn to enjoy the ride without having to like full pin the bike there's so much more to it i promise like there's so much more to it like i could ride like this and just have a have a great time i'm just out here enjoying my day you know like i don't know but that's just me some people some people can't like some people like have to have that that adrenaline which i do but like there's a time and a place for everything one of these boxes flies out and hits me, we're gonna have a serious issue. I feel like that box is gonna hit me. Let's find out. All right, I don't even know if my GoPro is still on, but if it is on, adios. Um, now is the outro. The last outro is cap. This is the real outro. So goodbye. Bye.